my dear students today i am going to teach the poem the wonderful words by mary devonport online for when standard okay so the poem the wonderful words written by mary mary devonport online or like so first we are going to know about the author yes mary devonport online was an irish poet and dramatist and a friend and a colleague of w b eats russell and austin clark Mary Devonport was born in Lagaria <coughs> County <coughs> Galway Ireland <coughs> She was a pupil of the Dominican convent in Eccles Street Dublin She studied teaching at the Metropolitan College of Art from 1889 To 1902, she published three verse plays: Blue Beard, Coin and Other, and Out of the Darkness. Her collection, Prometheus, and other poems, was the first collection of poetry published by an Irish poet. Besides, it's which could be considered modernist she is one of a small number of known early 20th century irish modernist women poets okay now come to the poem <coughs> before that we are going to know about the glossary words are the new words so if you know the meaning of the new words or the content words so we are able to understand the poem very easily so now we have to know the know about the new words shivan shivan means wrinkle <coughs> dry up waste away yes we should not shivel our personality can you use it in your own sentence yes we should not shivel our thoughts or thinking we should not shivel our thinking thinking <coughs> groom brush clean up yes so you use it in your own sentence groom brush yes we have to groom our knowledge we have to groom our knowledge knowledge marvelous means wonderful splendid yes the beauty of himalaya the the beauty of himalayas is marvelous 
waters. Marvelous means wonderful splendid. The beauty of Himalayas is marvelous. Is marvelous. Longing. Longing means desire. Trust. Earning. Yes. We are longing to to get distinction. We are longing to get, uh, get distinction in the examination. We are longing to see the performance of an artist. We are longing to see the cricket match between Pakistan and India. Yes, we are longing to see the match between India and Pakistan. India and Pakistan. Yes. Now, <coughs> come to the point. So, <coughs> some words are given in the box. You will have to mind them. You will have to learn to mind them. Astonished. Thanking someone. Requesting for help. Being happy. Feel nervous. Apologizing to someone. Helping a blind person cross the road. So you will have to Mind. Yes, now I am going to recite the poem. While I am reciting, so you will have to enjoy the poem. You will have to enjoy the poem. Okay. Open our textbook. The Wonderful Words by Mary O. Nye. Never let a thought shrivel and die for want of a way to say it. For English is a wonderful game and all of you can play it. All that you do is match the words to the greatest thoughts in your head so that they come out clear and true and handsomely groomed and fetched. For many of the loneliest things have never yet been said. Words are the food and dress of thought. They give it to its body and swing. And everyone's longing today to hear some fresh and beautiful things. But only words can free a thought from its prison behind your eyes. Maybe your mind is holding now a marvelous new surprise. New surprise. Okay? Have you enjoyed the poem? So read the poem silently and try to understand. After that, I am going to ask you some questions related to the poem. Have you finished your reading? Okay. So let us 
understand the poem first let us understand the poem yes it is a a distinctive poem the wonderful words is a distinctive poem without language and appropriate use of words it is almost impossible to imagine the beautiful words without language and appropriate use of words so it is almost impossible to imagine the beautiful word if we want to speak what do we need what do we need to speak words if we want to speak words are necessary words are necessary without words we cannot speak we cannot express our ideas words are necessary to express our ideas our thoughts if there are no words if there are no words are not the thoughts will dry up and die if there is no words our words will dry up and die to express our thoughts to express our ideas words are necessary yes words are necessary to express our ideas and our thoughts according to the poetess according to the poetess english is a wonderful game english is a wonderful game and anyone can play it english is a wonderful game according to the poetess english is a wonderful game and anyone can play it so whatever the thoughts whatever the ideas come to our mind we have expressed or say in words we have expressed or we are going to express or we are going to say in words these thoughts are arranged beautifully by words these thoughts are arranged beautifully in words we are going to arrange our thoughts in a beauty in a beautiful word order and make it loveliest thing that never at have been said never at been at have been said so it is always new and beautiful beautifully created it is always new and beautiful creation so the poet says that the words are wonderful the words are wonderful because these are food and dress of our thought the words are the food and dress of our thoughts to exhibit the thoughts to exhibit our ideas words are must words are necessary words are essential 
so it is compared to dress and food so the words are compared so the words are compared to food and dress of our thought the words give body and it can swing the thoughts the words give body and it can swing the thoughts every one in the world express to see new and beautiful things every one wants to express new and beautiful things the thoughts are imprisoned in the mind the thoughts are imprisoned in the mind the words make this free the thoughts are imprisoned in our in the in our mind the words make this free and it will come to the outer the words help us the words help to our thoughts to come out whatever the brightest thoughts in the mind whatever the brilliant thoughts in in the world it will come clear and true true words whatever the ideas whatever the thoughts it will come only true words to know this a wonderful new surprise will come to your mind the thoughts will come out our ideas will come out through the marvelous through the beautiful words our thoughts will come out through the beautiful and marvelous words okay. have you understood the point Yes. Shall I ask you questions? One. What does the poet ask us not to let die? What does the poet ask us not to let die? Yes, the poet ask us not to let our thoughts die and shrivel. The poet asks us. not to let our thoughts not to let our thoughts die and shrivel so at the same time the poet is ask us to express our thoughts in words the poet asks us not to let our thoughts die and shrivel she also asks us to express our thoughts in words in words
the point the point is oscillates not let power parts power parts die unsure she asks us to express of us to express our thoughts in words in words so is it clear so the next question english is a game to play how does the poet justify it <coughs> english is a game to play because sorry, english is a game to play how does the poet justify it yes english is a game to play because it is very easy because it is very easy just to match the words to our brightest thoughts to match the words to our brightest thoughts of our mind english is a game to play because it is very easy just to match the words to our brightest thoughts of our mind so the poet justifies it that to match the words is easy like a game match the words is easy like a game i you understand for <coughs> english is a game english is a game to play because it is very easy it is very easy just to match the words match the words or to the greatest thoughts greatest thoughts of our mind thoughts of our mind the part justifies justifies it that not to match the words to match the words is easy easy like a game like a game english is a game to play because it is very easy just to match the words to the greatest thoughts of our mind the part justifies that to match the words is easy like a game easy like a game this part the poet speaks about matching words what should we match the words with Very simple. The poet speaks about the matching words. What should we match the words with? 
Yes, we should match the words with our thoughts. What does the poet say here? Here the poet says that we should match the words with our thoughts. With our thoughts. We should match the words with our thoughts. With our thoughts. Next question. What has never been said yet according to the poet? What has never been said yet according to the poet? Yes, many of the loveliest things. Many of the loveliest things have never been said. ಅದೆಷ್ಟೋ ಸುಂದರವಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ವಿಷಯಗಳು ವಿಷಯಗಳನ್ನು ನಾವು ವ್ಯಕ್ತಪಡಿಸದೇ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲವ್ಲಿಯಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲವ್ಲಿಯಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಲವ್ಲಿಯಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೆವರ್ ಬೀನ್ Read lines 11 and 12 in the poem. Words are the foot and dress of thought. They give it to its body and swing. What do you understand by these lines? What do you understand by these lines? Yes, whatever the thoughts in our mind, whatever the ideas in our mind, the words are necessary for our thoughts to come out. <coughs> the words are necessary for our ideas to come out. Whatever the thoughts in our mind. So these words are like food and dress of our thought. Yes. Whatever the thoughts Whatever the thoughts in our mind In our mind The words are necessary
the poet mentions a prison in line 16 what according to our is imprisoned prison means the minds of men the minds of men behind the eyes and within the mind within the mind the thoughts are imprisoned the thoughts are imprisoned okay the thoughts are imprisoned okay have we have answered all the questions well now home assignment i am going to give you some questions so you have to answer all those questions in your own and submit it in the next class take down some questions <clears throat> what does what does the poet ask us the poet ask us not to let die